Now, I would like to talk a little better, but what I really mean when I, I talk about educating heart, mind, and a body. Most easy thing to think about is educating, educating, educating body is we have so little understanding about educating body. Of course, we talk about somebody, uh, 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 to, to somebody to train with this certain sports, maybe the football player, the cricket player, uh, but we don't think there are so many more things that we as an educator or the, the educational leadership can take more responsibility about. And I normally call that in terms of my fingers, my these fingers are some of the most uneducated fingers. Reason when I say that, and we have amazing carpenters in our community. And I, when I travel, we see so many amazing artists, how much they can draw and how much beautiful things they can create and build from their fingers. When I look at them, and then when I reflect on my, these fingers, and I feel I have the most uneducated fingers, you know, and the, our emphasis of education is always brain on a small part of the brain, and then we ignore it. So when we look at a one whole person, even for me that I'm thinking about, when I look at my whole person, and my entire body actually, maybe the 95% more than 95% is uneducated. Is it basically wasted resources sitting there? So basic things, you know, sometimes I even cannot do the basic things when I think the whole physical body, I think about, you know, you from here. So I do feel that my eyes are so uneducated. I was with, with my friend and he took me to this amazing museum, amazing painting in Europe. And then she was so excited showing everything. And when I look at those uh, paintings, those arts, I couldn't even enjoy and please myself. You know, I look at this, what is this? I don't really I get it. And when she was like with energy and so much enthusiasm and so much exciting that I could see that she's getting goosebumps when while she was trying to explain about piece of that art and I was just looking at the same piece of art and I was like you know basically uh, feeling nothing basically numb the eventually I learned to see beautiful things through my eyes through educating my eyes through educating my eyes. And I know so many people when they come to the remote place like where we exist, and they are really difficult to see the beauties in a nature. I often let them sit with me under a tree and watch the tree, the branches, the leaves, and they got sober. You know, after a few seconds, they will touch their hands. Of course, they have the similar attitude that I gave to my friend is what is there to enjoy? What is this? This is so boring. These are even like simple, simple thing when I think about how much I need. And more seriously, when I look at, you see, things we see, our, our own interpretations, those are even often limited, based on limited information that we have in our mind. And we tend to see beautiful, ugly, we just see, you know, the, positive, negative through our eyes. There are so many things when it comes to the learning that I talk about, the unlearning has to happen before we relearn and learn. But so many things I see, I have seen, is conditioned by the society where I live, community I live, the country and culture and religion. And whatever moment we see, and we tend to actually define good, bad, like, dislike, positive, negative, whatever we see. So many things that I see in a, a life that in, before I educate my eyes, so many things I need to unlearn and relearn. And then I need to train my eyes to see the beauty. And I need to train my eyes to see beyond what is an appearance and able to see the beauty and essence beyond, beyond the appearance. And these are like I talked about each and every part of 
part of our body. And I think about like my years, so many beautiful music. I have so many experience of how uneducated ears I have. Listening to classical, Western classical music, I thought that could be the one that is a, one of the most boring things that I, could, I, I ever heard. And but so much your ears are uneducated and so much you need to educate about to, to, to listen and, and to, to hear the beauty, to hear the, you know, the uh, sound, everything. I think we are, we have so, so much. So the, basically, as I'm saying, maybe the over 95% of our body, our, our life even, our self is totally uneducated. 